All right, today I want to demonstrate a um, a video game running at 120 FPS over Parsec. So what Parsec is, it's a remote gaming stream software. Um, so it allows you to log into your own gaming PC away from home um, or log into a cloud gaming PC um, where you rent it for about a dollar an hour and play and install your Steam library and you're good to go. So traditionally, most gaming streaming services kind of optimize to 60 FPS. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to test how it looks over that number. Um, there's a big, big push for monitors to go 120 and 144 hertz. So wouldn't it be cool if, you know, you could stream your games from a server at that frame rate? Um, and so what I have in front of me is a, a 4K television that has a 1080p 3D mode, so you can kind of turn your PC down, overclock it from from to 1080p 120 hertz. Um, and as you can see, it's it's running pretty smooth. It's super smooth. Uh, this video has only been recorded at 60 FPS, so you have to believe me a little bit. But why don't I go connect to my Parsec server? And so what I have on the top uh, left when it gets connected um, is up up here on the uh, left hand top. That's the a measurement I've got. Fraps running um, on my local computer that I'm connecting to it, and you can see uh, this is the desktop's running at only about seven or eight, twelve frames per second but that's because the the desktop's actually only refreshing at that rate so let me open steam um and let me jump into a game i'm going to call it uh, grid autosport um and i'm just going to go play and i'm going to open it up and we're just going to wait for it to load and open and if you just bear with me it's a bit of a process so um this server that i'm playing on is actually in sydney i'm in auckland so it's about 1300 miles away so it's kind of far away, you know, that's 30 milliseconds. Um, imagine if you're playing on a gaming server 30 milliseconds away, you'd probably be like, oh, that's a bit, you know, you'd be like, oh, it's not so great. Um, so this is this is, this is is basically a, a AWS server um, that I'm renting out for about a dollar an hour. Um, it's, it's running a grid card, so it's not like a consumer GPU, but I think if you were going to compare it to one, it would be about like a GTS 670 or... Something like that. It's nothing too flash, but it's kind of okay. Um, all right, so let me just go into a time trial mode. All right, um, and let's go open wheel. Let's get one of these really fast, speedy cars, but not too crazy. I'm just gonna go yes. Let's do it. Okay, cool. This keeps going out of focus. All right, cool. And you know, since this GPU is not maybe the speediest demon, I'm probably going to benefit from turning down the, the seconds a lot. You can see it's kind of going around over 60 FPS at the moment, but let's just turn it down to, uh, let's just go down to medium, I think. I think that'll be good for us. And I also want to turn down um, post-processing because this significantly impacts the performance. So I'm going to go down to shader quality and drop that down to ultra low, and I'm going to go back and go back. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go jump into the game. So I'm hoping you can see it. It's a little bit hard to see now, but the game's running about 100 frames a second. So it's running at 90. All right. I got to remember which buttons I selected. Okay, so it's running uh, just under 100. Let's me slow down really quick here and spin around the corner. And this honestly feels like I'm playing it like this is running on my local computer. It feels incredible. It's so very smooth. Um, I'm terrible at the game because I'm trying to record and do this demonstration. Um, let me just jump down to low and see how far we can push it. So the actual internal frame buffer is running at about 300 frames a second, so it's actually still pretty speedy. Um, and the, we're getting about 104, 105 frames from Parsec um, because it's having to encode it and send it down, um, send it over the internet. But why don't I go to ultra low? It looks pretty garbage, but you know, let's just do it for demonstration purposes. So if I, uh, okay, now we're just locked at 120 FPS. Oh, dip down a little bit. All right, so we're pretty much, we're hovering around 120 FPS. We're mostly there. But you can kind of see, this is amazing. Let me try zoom in a little. I don't want to... Yeah. But this is like next level playable, man. 
and there's no, you don't feel any latency at all. And this is literally a server that's 1300 miles away. You know. Operating on like a GPU that could be four years old. You know, this GPU came out in 2013. And it's absolutely fine. It feels so good. And you can see that I've got it on easy settings. But yeah, what a what a demo, eh? All right, let me just slow down. I think that's it. So if you are wanting to try Parsec, um, especially at 120 FPS, you need to go to Parsec.tv, download the app. Um, but you also need to run it on a on a obviously a higher than uh, you'll have to run it on 120 hertz or 144 hertz monitor. I'm sure it's going to work on 144 hertz. I haven't tried it because I don't have a monitor. Um, but you could really push it. So it's pretty cool. Try it out.